Hello. Hello, Regina. Hello, everyone. I hope that my... Hello, Tracy. Tracy, I will uh, talk to you on Messenger tomorrow. I just couldn't find time. I see that you got, got your paints and uh, pouring me a uh, per medium, so... Maybe we can do it on Friday or something. Hello, Tyler. <laughs> Hello, Trish. Hello, I will answer you too, Trish, this week. I just, uh, I don't know, I'm so busy lately. Uh, thank you, all things. <laughs> all things house plants. Oh. House plants, great. So um, I don't know what how is in your states. We get uh, coronavirus cases again. I don't know. Probably we will close some borders again. So I hope that it's better on the other. Uh, side of the world or but obviously we will have to learn live with this coronavirus or something I don't know because probably we will not be able to be closed we used to have this global global oh hello to Croatia uh Glad, Tracy, that you did, yes, because, uh, I don't know, we we don't have a lot of cases, but um, we open borders and then some of our workers come, for, come home from other countries uh, from the world and, I don't know, obviously, um, I hope that uh, connection will be okay. Probably we will have some buffering because <laughs> it's always like that. <clears throat> yes, Trish, this um, probably is a good idea to get paints before uh, uh, we will be shut down again or something. I don't know. I hope that it will not happen. So uh probably this is it <laughs> what i want to say uh yes i agree who in why invited corona to our world i don't know a lot of definitions and conspiracy theories or truth or i don't know probably none of us know what the truth is about all these things but uh, here it is, and we we have to live with it. Don, I'm great. <laughs> Don Clark is somebody that uh, make me smile every day with her comments because <clears throat> you know Don. <laughs> your comments always bring smile to my face because I love your humor. So, hello, Janet. Uh, oh, uh, what you can use. Okay, let's talk a little about this. So, uh, you know that I did um, this uh, experiment with glue. I can, I will, I will show you later some dry paintings. Hello, hello, Ronel. So, um i use my bisner acrylic binder hello steve <laughs> um and uh, acrylic emulsion and um 
Before this binder, I used only acrylic emulsion or acrylic Erica, Erica Art, Art. She uses just emulsion and she get these beautiful flowers too. So, and uh, I told, spoke, spoke about this Flora Nera. Okay, they want to go out. So, uh, Kathleen from Cos Creations, uh, she used, and now I have bugs in here. Sorry, guys. Um, she used this, uh, hello, Amadei, um, M1. Uh, acrylic extender paint extender or something uh, you can buy this in your home depot or depot i don't know exactly what is how you call this so um and one of my viewers did uh, reverse flower dip with this m1 m1 uh, thing and uh nani <laughs> sokomari uh Nevim kaj so. Slovene. I have a Slo Slovene viewer. Um, so um, this M1 thing, extender, paint extender, paint latex paint extender or something. Hello, Mel. Uh, it work. So, and uh, I saw that it's not uh, very expensive. Oh, Roxy, you, you bought it. So please, uh, if you will try it, uh, please send us some pictures that we will see how this works. I will show you my painting that we did with glue with Roxy, how it dried. So, but I think that this uh, M1 could be quite a good um, alternative for my primer and uh, my binder i think that it's uh, it's similar than your untinted base co base paint base paint that you use for your blooms uh, i can't get this in slovenia so i i don't know so i just what i see i think that this should be something similar so if somebody in states have this uh, uh maybe uh maybe you can try to mix that and see if this will work because i can't because i can't buy this and i can't buy neither this elmer's glue one of my viewers uh, looked um, that she would uh, send it to me but it would cost i don't know about 300 dollars to ship one gallon of Elmer's glue to me and this is just too expensive for me I will not pay as much for a glue we have glue but it's different it's not Elmer's glue also but it's PVA glue but you know every brand of PVA glues are different so we can do total um, compar comparison with our products because they are not the, not the same. Neither float rolls are not the same. You know that the Australian <coughs> float roll is different than your flat float roll. Our um, European overthrow is different than your flat float roll. So you just have to experiment. I can't, I, I tell you as much um, as I can with uh, these products that are similar. So I tried with glue. <clears throat> and it it is different but still works so uh the one with just with water didn't work as well i think that i i showed you the results dry result i can show you again so uh i will turn my camera and let's go to paint my some of my dry paintings you know this part is <laughs> always tricky for me i have to up where is this thing to turn my camera around okay up okay it wasn't so bad today so uh 
Ja, jaz tukaj ne vidim tega. Ti pa? Just a second. Kam. Sorry. It's always a problem with this. It should be okay now with this tripod. I will just bring. Oh, so this is just so. I don't know if I I have to <coughs> draw that I will know where to put my canvas because otherwise I will be off camera again. So I will grab some <coughs> dry painting. So when I talk about uh, just uh, paint and water this is the one just with paint and water and you can see that um, this pearl white pigment kind of i don't know uh broke or something you see it doesn't um, i don't know it's just but still it, it is a flower <laughs> kind of uh, no rocks, it not cracks. There, there, there's no cracks, but uh, just pigment broke a little bit. You see, so this is the one just with water. If maybe I didn't show you that one yet, I don't know. I don't remember anymore anymore what I show you already and what I didn't. So <clears throat> this is the one. That I did um, with Roxy uh, on our private lessons with reds and this this is glue mixture and it's not dry yet so I can't show you <clears throat> but this is with glue this is glue mixture some turquoises I have some you see this um, la, 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 extreme sheen kind of separated too a little bit, but <clears throat> uh, if I will, when I will varnish this, dry it. So, <clears throat> yes, M1 is like my emulsion. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> so, um, and when I did the same, with my pouring medium i lost almost all red i don't know why you see and it's still wet i can't um so this is the one with turquoise and red with my pouring medium <coughs> sorry i have just something in my throat and this one is not dry neither. This one with the uh, reflex orange and uh, cardinal red. Uh, but it just not, I can show you my camera on phone just doesn't show the real colors. So I have to do something with it. I will, I promise. Oh. Ooh, but this one will not go this one is from our last week's life if you remember the one who were there my napkin uh, tear apart and this is dry and I don't know I can show you this gold shimmering on camera neither maybe a little you see a little here <clears throat> but it didn't dr turn out so bad i think it's quite interesting uh so what we did where is the purple one from last week uh this one is dry too and oh you see 
I realized that when I use these uh, deep edge canvases, they uh, paint because these edges uh, on normal canvases are more sharp and this tends to flow uh, over the edge. So I lost quite a lot of uh, opera rose, but it's still beautiful, I think. And this is how my paintings look before I varnish them, you see? They are shiny already. That's why I <clears throat> love my pouring medium. This one, what else I, what I did this week? Oh, I did this weird funnel pour that I didn't like. <clears throat> this one is dry too. It has some nice cells in it with some, you see, kind of, I don't know, multicolored uh, pearl cells, but I don't know. I'm not sure about this one, but that's um, how it turns out. It's not varnish. This is just dry result with... This I will try this technique a little more because uh, it's interesting <coughs> and I like to do the other techniques and I tried another one and I failed and then I dip it and <laughs> this is what uh, this is what it's it look like I don't know you see a fly here. I see a fly. No, you can't see this in on camera. You see it with two eyes. She has two eyes and everything. So this one I dipped with, um, I don't know, paper napkin, I think. And I get some nice looking effects here around, but... Yeah, I just need to register it. I think I subscribe on So, this was my second try and it didn't go nice, neither. Whoa, and I did that um, to wondering yet, but half dry. Uh, this one is on this uh, deep edged canvas, you know. Uh, has really deep edge, so. And sides are quite nice, so. I have some uh, ideas with this technique that I want to try too, but I like this one. It's kind of. Uh... Oh! And we are not finished yet. And this one with um, copper and pearl rose, uh, Persian rose and I don't know what I used, Bordoret or something. I don't know. This one is from this week too and it's not completely, completely dry neither. But you see this copper starts to show through. Uh... And it's really nice in uh, in real, not on my with my phone camera. And probably this is it from today, uh, from this week. Sorry, I didn't do nothing more. No, no, this is it. I think. Uh, I don't know. Last week, did I show you this? Um, one that I did with fluorescent paints, and you see, Raiko, you know, uh, with these deep edges, paint just tends to flow over. Oop, no, I can't show you. Uh, and here I did uh, some different um, racking or something, so this one is dry too, and now. I showed you really all things because a lot of people ask me about dry results, but um, 
I like to show them in my life so that I can talk about this just um, uh, about this not uh, in my videos because they will be too long <clears throat> yes M M1 you can use Tina uh, can tell you how she mixed or something if she, if she wants to because she sent me this uh, uh, picture of her flower and it was really really beautiful so <clears throat> that's why I said that so let's go to today's experiment kind of my next auction Probably next month, because I will have, again, too much paintings that I can store. So I will use primary colors today. Primary yellow, primary cyan, and primary magenta from Amsterdam. And, of course, my pearl white mixture and black for the background. And I will do one... Reverse flower dip, and I will use just this small 8x8 eight eight canvases because uh, I don't know how it will work with other, not with uh, paper napkin, and I don't want to ruin too much paint and bigger canvases. So one with, with paper napkin, one with zip back. You know that I did uh, this zip back uh, reverse flower dips, but not with this... Um, cup bottom technique so I will try today first time and the first time I will try to use this bubble wrap for a reverse dip too so I will do first napkin because this one it's it's the one that it's probably yes I'm pretty sure that I will not get total mess if I do this. So let's do first our standard thing, our paper napkin. So, and uh, sometimes people ask me about my base coat. So base, base coat is a little thinner. It doesn't leave a mount, it just flows right into the the cup uh, this is just for this technique um, not for every not for spiral if i do spirals or other reverse flower dips but when i do these cup bottoms i use my base a little thinner than other paints so um but I don't do this part in every video because it will with I know that it's not see how you put your you pour your base coat. So you will just for those who want to see this will have to search for video that I pour this on because I really don't do this on my on every video but my base for these uh, cups, cup, uh, cup bottom <laughs> reverse dips, is thinner. And you have to spread it around that it's even. Because otherwise you will not get this um, nice shape because paint will flow differently if you will not have... Sorry, but you have. I have to do this, so you will have to see my head for a while. Uh, what did I talk about? Oh, uh, if you don't uh, level your base, you will not get this nice pattern uh, when you will pour your paints over. Where is my torch? Right? Could we be this? Okay, I found it. And pop the air bubbles. And you know that I 
normally try to find kind of a middle you don't have to be totally in the middle but it's nice <laughs> cool <laughs> so I will go blue magenta and yellow so I will start with this cyan so just primary colors cyan and some pearl white and I will do just two layers around and one in the middle because this is smaller and buy it. I told in, I don't know how many videos already, uh, what I saw, this, these are flower shaped, there's the flower shaped dessert cups and if you, <clears throat> or bowls. Or, I don't know, try on some uh, sites that they sell these uh, cups and bowls for finger food. Because I, I see in some stores, but I can't um, uh, give you a link or something because you will have to find it yourself. Because here in Europe, we have <laughs> other sites than you in States. So... And I heard that um, they are available available on Amazon yet, uh, again. So I don't. I really can't help you with this. But um, I sent some cups in states, and I have quite some problems with shipping. So I don't know. You will just try to search a little bit and. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should create a Facebook group <laughs> flower shaped as dessert cups. I'm joking. That we can uh, share links or something. I will turn it around and I don't know. Maybe my pearl white is too thick. But now we will go with this mixture for all three because I just want to see the difference. And now I will do just one more. One row or what's the word? All three colors once. And magenta and yellow and then I will spray. I hope that I will not get too much green with this yellow and the blue. I will probably get some, but I hope that not too much. Oh, thank you, Tyler. So, my attack pudding. Yeah. Yes, these are the ones that I use, so you can use this link if you want to buy them. Uh, I know that uh, they were out of stock for some time, but obviously now you can buy them again. So, problem solved. Yeah. 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 
So this part is done and I will spray my napkin. Where is it? Here it is. <coughs> I'm just thinking what will I will do if this one will not work that I did the first one with this uh, napkin that I think that it should work nice but what if it will not work because you never know in pulling you never know what you will get I will just Oh, a lot of mess here and I don't can't okay put my things down properly And uh, last week when I used those um, other napkins, I figured out that napkins are important too, obviously, because um, those didn't work that I used. Uh, they just tear apart, so. And this is the thing that you will have to find yourself too. This is mine are had have um, two layers you see but they don't uh, separate when i lift them up so i don't know what is the difference i will just put my gloves off because i have more feeling feelings whoa 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 feelings Up, work with me. And the last one. Uh, and lift. Okay, I didn't get too much green, I'm happy that I didn't, and now the magic starts, I just love this process when I lift and then pearl white starts to react at all because if you ask me, it's perfect. <laughs> Maybe I will touch my middle a little bit <laughs> when this <laughs> pearl white starts creating some weird things in the middle. I just touch it, you know that already. So I will try to bring it a little closer so what do you think i think that it turned out quite nice so i will put this one aside and then at the end we will do a comparison to all three but I will just clean this a little bit and wash my hands and then we will do one with, let's do the next one with bubble wrap and see what will happen. Same thing, but we will use bubble wrap, not napkin. Bye. 
Pazite, črno, zabejste smo vse črno, ne mreš to mi tisok. No, veš drugo. Imam, ampak... Ok. I will just wipe this a little bit. You see, I try to have my <laughs> place a little cleaner lately. I don't know. <laughs> because I'm a messy painter normally. So let's pour a base again. Yes, I can hear. It's important how you put your push pens into because obviously I didn't do you hear. So my canvas is probably not leveled completely and this can cause that your paint will not flow evenly too. So a lot of small things matters with this technique, like in life. All the small things matter to get nice results. So uh, I suggest that uh, when you start doing this, don't rush, just uh, go um, slow and you know, I did a lot of this uh, painting, so maybe I do it a little uh, faster. But when you start, try to get your canvas leveled. Try to get uh, your base coat as even as you can. Um, pour your paint with um, some filling. <laughs> um, so try to get things right, that you will get nice results. I, I have to wash my hands again. <sighs> but you chat, or Raiko. Mm -hmm. You are not bored when I go wash my hands, I hope. So feel free to, to share your experience with this technique if you tried and what... Uh, okay, so I, Raiko told me that you talk about links for cups and everything, so good. Wash them immediately, they just wash out up really, really beautiful. So you see this one is reused, but it's still like new. So you can use it over and over again. Okay, so I will do the same with layering and then Use paper, blah, 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 bubble wrap. I almost said paper napkin because I normally use paper napkin. Magenta. So these are three three primary colors from Amsterdam. Uh, I like Amsterdam paints, I like Windsor and Newton too, but uh, I just can't use Artist Love because I don't have it and I can't buy it. So maybe consider this thing too, that um, if you use Artist Love paints, maybe this can be a problem too, that you don't get nice result because maybe they don't work with this technique well 
and I can't try it uh, for you because I can't buy it. So if I could, I would. This is one song. If I could, I would, I swear. I don't know. Uh, I love to sing to myself. <laughs> this is the second layer already, yes. And I think that my yellow thickened up a little bit, I don't know. Uh, let's turn it around. Um, but I'm not a singer neither. But I love to sing and I love to listen to the music. Okay. Oh, I almost turn it once more. So let's do one more layer and then our bubble wrap. Blue and pearl white. I'm, I just think one day that I'm totally in love with this <laughs> white mixture. I don't know. I just use it all the time in all kinds of kind of pores because I love these effects. Okay. And yellow. Definitely thickened up a little bit this yellow, but I will not um, add water now because I have I want to have paints for all three experiments the same. So Put this one aside. And I talked about this part too. You can play with a little different. Um, I don't know how to call this racking. But I love to do it like this because I love to bring some of these colors into the middle. Otherwise... I get just too much pearl white in the middle and too much of this black. Okie dokie. And let's <laughs> see how this will work with this. I have quite a big piece, but I will just use it like it is. Oop. I have to be more careful with laying down because of all these uh, air pockets that this can create and I think that I have some air pockets underneath already. I don't know. I see one here. Definitely, yes. You see? Uh... This is why I prefer using napkin instead of plastic. I, I don't know if I can... I'm just afraid that I will ruin everything, you see? If I try, I will not. Because I just... Uh, my pattern will... I don't know. I will just leave it like it is and 
Oops, this is just so big. So if this will work, okay, maybe I can use uh, this uh, bubble wrap for bigger canvas, maybe. Oop. So different. Even with this lifting part. Because napkin oh, is um, softer than this. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. You see? Totally didn't get nothing like the previous one with <laughs> with the napkin. But call some cute bowl, ball or something, not bowl. I get a nice one here. This looks really nice, you see, on the uh, bubble wrap. <laughs> Let's storage this. And I just. Kai, yeah, no. Kai, nice day, Stan. Yeah. It's not so bad. I will uh, take you closer later, but totally didn't get this um, petal look and nothing. You see? It's cute, but and I don't like this man body part here. I have to. You see him? It him? I don't know. Probably it. I just have to. Can you put him there? Okay, get rid of it. Down, down, did you see it today? Okay. I like these shadows on the outside. It's not bad at all. In real, it's not so bad, I have to say. But totally different. That's why I want to do this that you will see. Maybe somebody will like this uh, kind of uh, flowers and you can do this too, try this too. So let's put this one aside. and clean a little bit and then we will do a zip bag. I just have to clean my table a little bit and wash my hands. Okay, let's put left. Okay, dokie. This is uh, the thing with black background. You have such a mess. But I like the black, black background more than white. Okay. So I don't know for those of you who are new, you probably didn't see my uh, reverse flower dips with zip back or you did maybe so uh, I'm totally not expecting the same um, the same uh, patterns and effects that I get with uh, napkin so but I was thinking I want to try because I didn't tried this technique for a long time so I decided that 
maybe today we can do this comparison with these three. Uh, okay. Let's pour my background again. Uh, I'm just having so much fun doing this uh, flower dips, reverse flower dips, I don't know. And sometimes I just think I, I, I will do the something different today, but I kind of miss my flowers if I don't do one flower a day. <laughs> uh, you know me. I'm a little, I'm just me. Somebody maybe will say that I'm weird, but we are all weird on our own ways. So that life is not boring. We have to be different. Because uh, when you use different color combinations uh, and uh, different um, opacity of uh, paints you can you get different results and it, it's always interesting to see what will happen with some oh i didn't um, tell uh, opacity opacity i don't know what is the word uh, how to pronounce this right of our paints today so magenta is transparent this one primary magenta and uh, primary cyan is transparent too and primary yellow is semi opaque so i will show you you see here are the signs the signs so, transparent, you see, empty, square, and primary CN, transparent too, and primary yellow, half transparent. So, uh, if you would use just opaque colors, you will get totally different result too, so... That's why it's always um, fun to watch what will happen when you combine uh, different colors. I love to use transparent and semi-opaque colors for this technique because I think that they work best. But uh, just black and white that I did you know black is uh, opaque color it's it was nice too so I don't know but I prefer maybe transparent colors so let's do the same thing that we did twice before Kupica? My napkins are 12 on canvas, or at least as big as your canvas, if you want to get nice results. But um, it's hard to, to find these bigger napkins, and that they are um, strong enough that they don't tear apart while you're lifting it up, because they are uh, wet and soak with paint so you have to find the right one i i just can't explain differently 12 by 12 inch my napkins are 12 by 12 inch 30 by 30 centimeter Oh, and white, pearl white, not white.
and yellow. And yellow is <coughs> thicker every time I pour it on, I think. Or just, I think so, I don't know. Okay. So grab my stick. Turn this around. And when you turn your cup around, try to add this part into the middle of two petals that you will get um, oh, nicer pattern. Uh, I always um, write in the description box which brands of colors I use. So I prefer Amsterdam, Windsor and Newton, but I have some other brands too. But all other brands are European brands and you can't buy it in States. So, but you can buy Amsterdam too. Um, I love them, but they are quite expensive. So mostly Amsterdam and Windsor and Newton, and I love to use these artist colors too, but they are European brand, and I think that you can't buy it in States or Canada or Australia or I don't know, just in Europe, probably. These are those paints that I'm talking about. You see, I love to use those paints too because uh, I don't know, I love them. They are so shiny and, um, but probably this is just for us in Europe. And I'm just thinking how I want to put my zip bag on probably i will put it on and then blow it up with my straw otherwise i will have a ton of air pockets probably underneath and i kind of expect that i will smash up this pattern quite a lot i don't know we will see. Maybe not. Maybe it will create some nice pattern. Let's try. Okie dokie. And huh, I will put my zip bag down and then blow it. What should I do? No, I will blow it a little bit, not too much, oh. with the straw. I will try to the zip bag and then I will zip it. Okay, so you see, I have air now, and I think that it's too much air, so I will just push some air out. You don't want to have a lot of air, you see? Just, I don't know how to say that. How much air is this, you see? It's not a lot. And I hope that I will not get a ton of air pockets underneath. And I will roll, rolling on a river. <coughs> ah, 
I don't know. Maybe I have too much air. I don't know how I will lift this up. I will try to... Ne, I will ruin. Tremika se mi. Bomo se razmazala. Let's go for it. So I will just grab it like this and lift it up. And I'm expecting totally different pattern that I get <laughs> with other two. And it did. I did get totally different pattern. <laughs> I just don't like it. And this one will go on spinner. Because it's just too weird. Maybe if I spin this a little out, it will be better. Black around. I expected a little different um, pattern, but not like this. <laughs> it's just so, I don't know, sorry. Um, just not something that I would like. So let's see what will happen. I'm just thinking I kind of like again some black because you see it's uh, I didn't lift up uh, I do it kind of uh, diagonally or something so I don't know I I kind of like this a little of this black what do you think? Because uh, this part here, it's kind of nice too. It's like, um, uh, I don't know, some part, uh, a little part of rainbow or something. I will torch this a little bit to see. I will leave it. I will not. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, because uh, I think that uh, it needs something. This black uh, on the edges. I think that it. That otherwise, it would be just so busy, too busy, and with this black. Uh, it is kind of, uh, I don't know, some uh, <laughs> kind of flower shaped thing, but it's not a flower. And leave this zip back to dry. Just have to put it here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really look looks nice this one on the I will bring now all three just a second just to wash my hands and then we can talk about it. Okay, I will leave this one on a spinner and try to make some room for the other two paintings here. <clears throat> and then I will take you down and we will 
Sí, just to. Oh. <laughs> Clean this up a little bit. Because the paintings look nicer too if they have a little cleaner background, doesn't they? But it's hard to have clean surface. I see that I will have to add a little black on the corners to this first one and pearl white kind of react a lot the first one because uh, you pull uh, some paint off and I used to add some paint around and smooth it a little bit and then it's easier for paint to level out while drying that you don't have this middle blob of paint. I didn't, didn't do this on in the beginnings of this technique, but I figure out that it's uh, better to do this and then you get this nicer nicer look when it's dry so and now i do this with all my paintings and i will touch the middle again you see how it reacts while we do other ones this uh, pearl in the middle kind of react too much for my taste so I will just bring some yellow or blue or something to the middle okay this first one I will take you down just I will go for the <laughs> Um, maybe I can do some balloon dip, dips next time, too. Uh, but um, today I will just leave these ones like they, they are. And maybe we can do this on the next live. Okay. The second one, it's not so bad now. It's different, but not so bad. Just to, and I have to do something to, to level it out, otherwise it will not level it. Oops. And now I have, again, my hands totally dirty. Just once more, I wash my hands and I will take it down <coughs> for a close up. Okay, maybe it uh, will be a little buffering. Oop. Rajko, da je jedno luč probil gasnic. Just a second, I just have so much glare. I will just ask Rajko if... 
Better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, this is the first one. Beautiful lacing, beautiful colors for my taste. I really love it. I really do. And the second one, it's not so bad neither. See a lot of this uh, blue and uh, magenta and kind of violet lacing and here around is some color, you see, like a little rainbow surround, I don't know. It's not so bad. I like that one too. I don't know about you, but and this uh, in the middle it has, you see this uh, blue and kind of depth. I like it. And the uh, zip bag thing, it's, it's a weird looking thing, but we don't know if we don't try. That's why I like to look and everything the same that we can see the difference. So, you see, which one you like the most? I probably like this one with bubble wrap. I don't know. Uh, I can show you zip back. You see, and this is what is left on the zip back. So weird. So beautiful flower here and so weird flower on the canvas. You see? This is what left on the zip bag. You see, this is on the zip bag. I have to uh, that it were not. Um, I have to uh, left out air that it were dry nice and I can use it. So, and this is what it was on the the canvas. So weird. So now we know. You can decide which one you like the most and you can use or napkin for this kind of effects or bubble wrap for this one. I really like this one <laughs> and zip back for <laughs> this one. So I hope that you learned something. I definitely did. And what I will probably try again will be bubble wrap to get to see what I can get with bubble wrap. So have a nice Sunday. It will be almost Monday here in Slovenia. Hope that you enjoy it. I do. I did. And see you on the next one. Bye.